today we're discussing what is mutter to do for a, a child, a cotton. Where are we? And it's page Tafresh Aleph. Again? Page Tafresh Aleph. Tafresh Aleph. What are, you, what are we allowed to do for a cotton who's um, has a certain category that is considered like a sick person? Half range what? Aleph. The page? That's yeah. the page. Okay. Nobody sick is sick. Sick of base. It's on the page. By the way, uh, tonight yeah. is the last night for the talk. It's for the heart. It's for the heart. Wiring. We have good things. Only good things. You can do more chesed. Be a Shabbat? Be a Shabbat, right? There's a rabbi, Abiria Akob, in Tanya. My friend is here. I'm not going to be here in Chicago, but he uh, spoke one time. I knew I was waiting for someone. Yeah. I knew I was waiting for someone. Okay. So in Sivcha Beis, the Alter is like this. Mutter lamer lenachri last is tashel lekatan. Shein lem alecho. You're allowed to tell a guy to make a tashel or cook to cook something for a child that doesn't have what to eat. That's the cook on Shabbos. The cook on Shabbos. Tell the guy to cook on Shabbos. She stamps Sarchi Katan, didn't get Sarchi Chelish, ain't Because the needs of a, of a Katan, of a child, is the same din, has the same law as somebody who is a Chela, who's sick. She ain't which doesn't which doesn't have a Sakana Safashis. Have a person uh, as a chela, which is sakanas tofashes, which then you're allowed to do whatever you could to save him. Right. Chela, which has a sakanas tofashes, a sick person, you can do whatever, you, whatever it takes to save it's him. The mitzvah. The mitzvah. Chela she ain't make sakanas tofashes. A chela which doesn't have sakanas tofashes, but he's he's very sick. So you're also allowed to do things for him. One of the things is you're allowed to tell a guy to do malacha to for. Take care of his needs. Now we're talking about a child. This child is not is not sick. But he's a cotton, meaning he's but not. He, he's he's cool. under the mitzvah, right? What that age qualifies. depends on what we're talking about. Well, stam and halacha cotton means not the mitzvah, right? Yeah, but, but over here it's going to depend on what it is. So he says over here that this child, even though he's not sick, but his needs are the same because the child is 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 uh, not as strong as an adult. As an adult. So his needs are the same din as a chelish ein So that's a and halacha, in other words. That's yeah. a very interesting insight. Yes, and and we say that. But what he could tell, you could tell a guy to cook. For this child, if he doesn't have what he is. So you don't want to make the shooting side? You put the flame for him? No, you can't put the flame for him because it's Shabbos. I'm joking. Shooting side. But you're allowed to do for Bishop Akram for him. It's mutter to do Bishop Akram for this child on Shabbos. Because there's no other choice. They go and make everything for him. Yeah. Open the flame, put the meat, put the... Okay. So, for the question is, what does it mean he doesn't have what to eat? What do you mean he doesn't have what to eat? It could be that it's a very little kid. He needs a mashed up carry. He can't, can't give him a stick of chali, a choke on it. You know what I mean? The kid is five months old. I pushed the kid They didn't have in the house anything that, that they could give this kid to eat. He told his wife, go cook these carrots and mash it up and give it to him. Is he's a cutting uh, obligated I mean, I'm giving an example. Is the cotton obligated to be shown with Shabbos himself? Ah, asking the cotton obligated to be shown with Shabbos. 
Well, uh, a katan we know is not a bar chiyuva, he's not obligated. Until you're bar mitzvah. We have to teach him. But the, the, but the idea is like this, that I am not allowed to give him something which is asr. The question, the question is not so much what of the child. What if he knows how to cook himself? What if he knows how to cook himself? Can he cook himself? Ah, so, so, that's, that's a good question. But here we're discussing if the problem is me telling the guy to, 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 to cook. Is that you're not allowed to tell a guy, let's say a person's nasty, like a regular for an adult. Can I tell a guy to, to cook for me on Shabbos? You're not allowed to tell a guy to cook for on Shabbos for you. It's a middle and achri, it's a middle and achri, it's a middle and You can give him a hint. Like if it's hot, you would need the air condition. Depends what it is. That's, 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 it's very hot today. That, that's another whole discussion. Saying, I don't want to get into the Nachri itself, but we definitely cannot tell him to cook. To cook for you on Shabbos, right? Why that's Midrabanan is a middle and Nachri. You're not allowed to tell a guy to do something for you on Shabbos. Over here, the problem is, even if the cotton himself is not a Bar but I am not allowed to tell a guy to cook. That's the problem. But we say if this child doesn't have what to eat, so then you could. The question what's he mean he doesn't have what to eat? He was giving us uh, some sort of answer. But let's think about it. If we're talking about he doesn't have at all what to eat, and he's gonna die, saying cook the fish. The, the, you yourself could could cook for him. Right. right? You don't need to ask a guy to cook for him. Right? Obviously, we're talking about that he's not dying from, from not eating. Um, obviously, it means, it mean, we have to understand exactly what that means. He's... Uh, but can you do is what, he, what, what um, so someone said, give him the hand, said the boy doesn't have any food to eat. We're saying that you could tell him clearly that he could cook. You don't need to tell him a hint. Because because nefesh, even Napakoch Nefesh was saying. Can Even Napakoch Nefesh, over here he doesn't have what to eat, it's not because of Napakoch Nefesh, he, oh, right. he, he, he's saying if he has what, to, if he doesn't have what to eat, you yourself could cook for him. We're talking about, this, he doesn't have what to eat now, he doesn't have what to eat uh, maybe a meal or two meals on Shabbos. Oh wait, I'm sorry Rabbi, it says Motola Hachilo, you yourself, not to call you Moksa. Oh, that's the next, that's the next Moksa, one. but it doesn't say you could cook for him. It says you can tell the guy to You cannot cook for him. Right, I'm not. I'm saying because he was saying that you yourself can cook. No, I'm saying if yeah. in my life, when it says he don't have, he doesn't yeah. have what to eat, it means yeah. that he doesn't have all what to eat and he's going to die from it. No, but so that, then, no. then you're allowed to cook yourself. Okay, because that's it's, that's a chaylish yigesh by sakhar. Right, so, so obviously we're talking about a katan. Which it's a chaylish yigesh by sakhar because he doesn't have what to eat. It means doesn't mean that all. It means he doesn't have, let's say, for a meal or two, he doesn't have. Right. It's a very big tzar for him. A baby can't eat the stuff we eat. We can't just give him, uh, you know what I'm saying? Right, but I'm saying after Shabbos we'll have what to eat. Before yeah. Shabbos we have what to eat. Maybe yeah. he even had on Shabbos a little what to eat. Yeah. But he's, uh, it's a meal or two he doesn't yeah. have. It's a big uh, sign for him. Uh -huh. It's a very it's very hard for him to, to go many, many hours without eating. Uh, it's a baby. It doesn't say clearly how much, but okay. it seems like there is food, just you can't cook it because of Shabbos. So. No, because, you know, like a kid, a kid that's like, Eight years old or something, he, he, he couldn't, he didn't have to cook, he gave him a piece of bread and butter, he's not going to have to go. The kid is three months old, he can't do that sometimes. Huh? He's got to have mushy in this yeah. over the time. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. just trying to give an example. Leave with you all week and yeah. shout you know, like this and this time, the baby eating this and this thing, uh, uh, cooking. Right. Without to ask nobody. Right. So you come and shout us and do it for the baby. Right. That's a lot even easier, yeah. That makes it even easier. Yeah. So she allowed to do it. No. Yeah, she, she you, doing it for, you didn't tell her. Yeah, that's no. a lot easier. That's a lot easier. That's a lot easier. Especially if she's, she, this is her job. You know, this is a. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a, that's a, yeah. You don't want to mix in whatever she so does. Many for, like that, got to what go in the all week and job is all year around. Ah, ah, so she know what to do. You know, like. Uh, okay, so we're never. You have to tell her nothing. Okay, so so. Well, also, we have to remember that if, if we're able to do it, it is the it Ramah would say that if we're able to do it in, in a, in a Mutratika way, then we can't do the Isratika way. We only matter at Isr if we have no other way. Right? Which means if we're able to do it 
in a way that is no problems, no isser. So now we're able to prepare the food, everything, and everything fine before Shabbos. Then even if we could find some hetter, we should just make sure it does clear everything in a way. And even heating it up, there's some ways how to do it, heating it up with the kli sheni, kli shlish, you know. There's different ways. We don't take advantage. Don't take advantage. Say that uh, I heard there was a difference, you know, uh, you know, war and terror. War. The lawyer tries to take, tries to find every single loophole which he could find in the whatever you call it, the case, the rule book. What do you call it? the amendments? The amendments. What? So they try to try to strip it to the bare minimum. When it comes to halacha, we don't try to strip it. We try to we try to keep as much as we could. <laughs> so, so that's so if if whatever we could possibly prepare and make sure to do it in a way which we don't have to come out to this hat there, so we should try to do. I'm saying if he doesn't have what he's so now there is an opinion that somebody named the, the Tehillah the David. The Tehillah the David is a sefer which is a, a commentary on the. On the Shulchan Aruch, and he quotes a lot to the Rebbe. He's uh, he lived in the time uh, he he lived like uh, like uh, 120 years ago, even more 140 years ago. David Urtenberg, and he wants to say that this heter of doing, telling a guy to do something for a katan is only by, by when it comes to food. That's what he wants to say. He wants to say you can only tell a guy to do something for a child. The child's not sick, right? This, you can do things for him is only for food. Now, definitely also, this is another thing, according to everyone, that you need, you need, it needs to be a tzayr harb. It needs to be that there's a big need for it. Right, so that's that's one thing. Even when it's for food, it has to be a big need for it. It's not just like extra, you know, dessert or something. You know, it has to be a real need for it. It's funny you said to Hilal the Reed, when I was in Yeshiva High School, was Shai Agnon. Maybe you remember or you remember. He was a writer that got a Nobel Prize. And one of his books was to Hilal the Reed, and I liked what he wrote about the Badista decades of Tantilin Bukhesed. So I told my mother, I said, if I get married, I will have daughter Tehila. And my oldest daughter is Tehila. Because of Shad. It's nice. You read the book, Tehila? No. I know, I know that. What happened? Had a cousin who was his editor in Germany. Okay. Now there's another halacha. So I just want to show a few different halachas. Um, which or other halachas which discuss Ktanim, which we're going to see pros and cons to agreeing with him, with the little David or not. But okay. can, I, can I just say one thing? Here it's a footnote, here in the down to the bottom, so that bring from the post I mean, the Alta Rebbe, it, he, he's saying it's, it's a quote from the Ramah. It's the quote from the Ramah. And the Ramah is yeah, right. so the the quote. quote. Yeah. So the question is, there are more who have the Hakos Maina, whoever they bring, exactly. you have to see what they say. I saw, I saw. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? But they say, right. It's Mashman Arish from what they say. It's oh. only with say he, he, know, he, he checked up everything. Yeah, right, he, right, he, yeah. I understand. Okay, I'm being so. Okay, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, and it's he, not a Hashara. It, it, it existed before that. Yeah, yeah. The Rebbe, you know? and he was. He checked, he did good research before he uh, said his uh, opinion. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he was a very big person. Yeah, no, I mean, like, just. Bayani, from here, he was a Bayana Kassel, actually. It says Tavshel. Bayana, Bayana Kassel. Yeah. Hatshel. He was a big guy. Okay. I'm just going to say, I'm going to say outside a little bit some of the things because it's going to go back and forth to different halachas. There's a lot in Shimon Gimel, and so that's like this: that you're not allowed to give, like you were saying before. You said that you, that a child, which is a child, is not a bar A child is not obligated in mitzvahs, right? But you are not allowed to give him something which is which is also minatera. Now that I give him shayf and meat, it's a uh, isr to give it to him. 
You're not allowed to give a child, even though he's not obligated in... in but you're not allowed to give him the treif and meat, to feed it to him. Only if it's pikuach nefesh, you're allowed. Pikuach nefesh, you're allowed, but if not, you can. There's even more than that, there's the Isidara Banan, that you're not allowed to give even uh, even something which is which is uh, Isidara Banan to them. Right? Something which is Asr Midara Banan, you're not allowed to give them to eat or to, to do. But it's not enough for food, but it, it, anything. Then, but what about like uh, leniency, right? Sorry, they get more leniency, like meat and milk, for example. Uh, okay, okay. It's not the exact. Like it. When it comes to meat and milk, is 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 uh, different discussion. We we're a little more lenient about it. Depends what age, and uh, some people wait. It's different, a little different opinions. How much do some people? It's not, it's certain if not the babies, age? they don't make a difference, you know, when they're a little older, then maybe you wait a little bit. And, you know, they kind of grow into it. The age is 13, and that happens. That's when you can see if the child is older. Bar mitzvah, yeah, bar mitzvah is when you're, when you're chayiv, that's when you become chayiv. So the parent can't give, but they can't, but, but are they, are they, do they have to forbid? Ah, oh, so so uh, y yes, the, the the that's also that's a whole discussion. I don't want to get into them. So that's if they if they are eating. There there is a mitzvah. There's two this thing, two things. There's bezdin. There's some certain obligations of bezdin to take care of the child, and then there's certain obligations specifically on the father. The father has a mitzvah to be mechanic his kid to educate his kid. So. Uh, it's some things, yeah. Some things, no. That, that's that's uh, another whole discussion. Yeah, that's that's. Over here, I just want to get into zero zero into a specific halacha. That. So we say now that even give uh, something with the in now that I give to a child. To eat. With the even the even even no. I mean, I mean, I tell you that you can't give something which is mean I tell you to to to, right, to the child yeah. and something. Which is awesome. Mid Rabbanu, Mid Rabbanu, you can't give it to him. You can't give it to him. Okay. No, so I'm thinking like let's say, so let's say Kalim. Someone has, someone has Kalim that they're not kosher. The Kalim, the pots, right? Right. And yeah. So, so that. Oh, but you said, all right, you don't want to get into the whole thing about preventing. That's a separate. Yeah. Story. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll leave it alone. Yeah. I'm just gonna go to different halachas. We're gonna go into each each sugya of each halacha. Then it's we're not gonna, we're not gonna get out of it. Yeah. So 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 now, what about telling a guy to give the to give the iser to the to the child? You're not giving the iser to the child. Could you tell a guy to give it to the child? Depend on the situation of the child. Ah. Oh. So, so after that it brings, that's, that's based on Magen Avram, that if a child is a little bit sick, then you could tell a guy to, to, to feed him, even the Isra that I, the Isra I think in Magen Avram, here it doesn't bring an example, but Magen Avram says that, you, that the minig was, had a child who was a little sick, it was Pesach. They would tell the, 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 the guy to carry him home, they were in a different place where they're having the Seder, and to feed him chametz. Chametz is that minatera. He was mixed as chayla, he was a little bit, a little bit sick. Or the Lashon of Ksas he was a little sick. The lad even, the lad of Talta give him even Comments. And he gives another example. He says, let's say so he's little, let's say he's exasked a little bit sick. He's not a chel He has it just means he has like a lot of tsar. He has a lot of tsar. It's not somebody who's who's uh, who's wiped out totally. We're talking about a child. The child were more mako. That's the point. The child were more mako. He has a lot of tsar. You could even tell a guy to even give him a Isid Minatayra. 
And so let's say he needs to drink wine for his refua, he needs for, to, to feel better, he needs to drink wine. The latter tell him, and, and you don't have any kosher wine, the latter tell him to give him yayin nesa. Now, I don't know if that's a specific thing. I don't know if I would want my son to have yeah, none of these things, because it still has an effect on them. If, uh, but over here, that's what we're talking about, is something Allah, is a little bit sick. Allah. This is not, it's not a sakana. We're talking about a dry halakha. First of all, is the yain nasaf today? There's only stam yain it's a good question, but let's say, but he's giving an example, it's not... He doesn't have the Yates at home yet, he can't have the bad effect, but he has, he only has the Yates of a row. Yeah, it's still, it's, 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 but it's, that's not, but let's stick to dry halakha. Dry halakha is that you're allowed to give him. You're allowed to tell a guy to, right? It's not connected with you what go, you're saying? Not connected with that? No, no, I'm saying I, I just threw in that it's a specific thing, maybe I wouldn't give my child that. I'm saying that's what he's, that's what he's discussing. Mm. I'm saying, but the dry halakha, if you go ask her dog, he says you, you're, allowed to, you're allowed to give it to him. Well, Obviously, you if you have, no other, you, have no, you have no other way of, of uh, nothing, you can't give him anything else. So here we're talking about. Talking about a fua, giving him medicine, uh, wine, or something, yainesach, where you don't have any other wine, you can give it to him through a guy, tell a guy to, to, for him to have it. If he's a little bit, mixes chayla, if he's a little bit sick, and this is what's going to help him. Okay, now there's another, another example, another case. In the Radesh Ayin Vav, there's two, two cases. Talking about a guy lighting a candle. Shabbos. On Shabbos. So it says that. With the bracha or without the bracha? If the guy lit it for himself or for another guy, so then your lighter have enough from the candle for the light. If you right. so forget, too, if you forget about candle, if dark here and you open the light and you enjoy the light. Okay. Well, those days they didn't have a light. That's what I put. That's what I mean. They, they, back in the day, they, they had candles. Yeah. So. Okay, but in our same day. thing today. Today, same thing. What He's turning on the light. You're allowed to enjoy it. What the soup? Reisha and vav and vav. It's a vav. A lot of halachot. No, it, it's, it's not sorry. It, it's, it's the simen reish involved. It's page reish nun chas. A lot of halachot that we learned today. That uh, it's, it was for years ago. Was same it, thing. Same thing. Turning on the light. Same thing. Turning on the light is the same thing. Yeah. This is like a candle. Kendall finish after hour, half an hour, hour. This is there. Doesn't make it. They're both, they're both the same malacha. Both malacha of Mavi. So you're allowed to enjoy it. I mean, to use it. If, he, if a guy put on the light for himself or for another guy. Right. This is so then you're allowed to use that light. If you put it for you, you're not allowed. Okay. So too, if he did it for a chilash eme sakana. If he did it for a chayla which doesn't have sakana, which means like right, somebody who's uh, yeah, yeah. sick in bed, he can't leave bed. Yeah. Or let's say achtanim, shadinim kechayla sheim by sakana lachal daver. Okay. Or for children, which they're like the loss, like a chayla sheim by sakana for everything. Then mutal abriim l'shtam shleide. Then everyone's allowed to have enough from that. Right. So that's handle. against the tilul tablet. Ah. It's not food. Ah, it's not food? Alright, very good. Unless he's gonna say that you're lighting it for food purposes, but it's not mashma like it's mashma for anything. The Khaldavar, the way he says it, it seems like for everything. In other words, as long as the guy did it by it's a, a guy can walk over and, and like, you know what I mean, and eat it or whatever, whatever uh, uh, 
Right? In other words, a guy, a regular person. Talking person. about turning on the lights, yeah. 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 Could you cut the ass with the light on it? Yeah, you could, you could, you could, you could, the Godler could tell the cop, the Godler could tell him to turn on the lights. So you just said that it's almost But this is for a cotton, I'm saying for a cotton, to tell him for a child, to tell him to put on the, now what is it, what does he mean for a child to put on the light? It doesn't mean, like we said, just, you know, uh, why not? Like, turn on the light for him. No, no, it's talking because about, it's a tzayra. It has to be a tzayra chayab, it has to be like a big tzayra. Like a guy screaming and crying, and so, you know that say, it's not going to stop. If you put on the light, I'll cut a sleep. I'm, I'm just giving uh, a crazy uh, uh. example. So, like, say, shulcha, no, yeah. I'm just giving a he says that, for example, let's say, let's say he's scared, the child's scared. Yeah. And he's, he's making a big shturim. And he's uh, not relaxed because he's all so scary and so if it's very very scary for him, so then you could you could tell a guy to turn on the lights. Or let's say the flip side, turning off the lights. Can't sleep. If he can't sleep, the child can't sleep. Okay. Then there's another halakha at the end of, Reishayim, the, of the Simen Reishayim Vav in Sif, uh, Sif Tezvav. It says like this, that in places which are, which are very, very, which are countries are very, which are very cold, which are clear gadol, they're very big, they're very cold. So, it says everyone, that everyone is like sick. When it comes to cold, like it's cold, like place where it's, it's, like it's freezing. A cold columnate to the center. It's such a phrase. Yeah, there is such. A so it's the middle of the winter. We're talking about the middle of the winter, and it's freezing. It has to be very, very cold. Clear goggle. Middle of the winter and it's very very cold. I can rush. So then it says everyone's. <laughs> it was cold, man. Uh, actually, he says over here. Uh, he says another country. He says in his countries he says it's not it's not it's not that cold. It's interesting. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. He does have a virus. It's our country's community. In, in like in our country is the cold. Uh, it's in Russia. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Russia is really cold. So then, in the day, in the middle of the winter, in the middle of winter, in the in Russia, so then you could you could tell a guy to put on to, to over there he's putting on the fireplace, and for fireplace. today he's putting on the heat. Electric. Why? Because everyone's like sick when it comes to to to, to, to a very cold, a freezing day. So we're like a chelo shem and Everyone's like a chelo shem and then he continues, he says, well, let's say it's not a freezing day. <laughs> so then you can't tell a guy, you cannot tell a guy to, to put on the heat. It's not a freezing day. Even though it's cold. Unless, he says, unless you have tanim shemitzdarim harbe, you have children which are very uncomfortable, very, in a lot of, a lot of sad. So the gdolim enjoy when this ktanim is starting, and he put the heat, so the gdolim, <laughs> thank you. Ah, yeah, so. Because it was done by hand. So we see, a, and we see again, we see again, it's something that's not, it's not connected with food. Right, it's heat, right, yeah, definitely. Wow. And, but it said it has to be at starim harvet, it has to have a lot, have to be in a lot of tsar. Not just, uh, not, not just a little bit uncomfortable. Now, the Tila of David, he knows about this, yeah. oh, no, so, so. and he wanted to say that really here's different because since even adults we say are considered sick when it's freezing, so therefore we're even more maker when it comes to more and when it comes to children. He wanted to say that over here is not such a proof. It was an exception. It was an exception, exactly. Oh, okay, now, being another example. It says in uh, Shin Chafes, I'll go back to Shin Chafes. In uh, Sif Mem Zayin, it's page Tafesh Tas, Sif Mem Zayin, it 
says um, a child which is having a difficult time uh, going to the bathroom. Wait, I'm sorry, what's the what's The, the page is Tafresh Tas, it's Sif Namzai. Simon Shem Okay, good thing So it says at the end of that Sif, also, You're not allowed to press, put pressure on the stomach of a child to help him go and go to the bathroom. Like a baby, you know, you press around, give pressure, apply pressure. Why? Because you maybe you might come to give him medicine, which is which is uh, to help him go to the bathroom. And you're not allowed to give medicine on Shabbos. You need to the child. Oh. So here it seems to say, this this seems like to go like the deal of the David a little bit. What's the problem? He needs to go to. The, he's trying to go to the bathroom. Let, let's help him out. This is circling Dinik. So it's maybe if you go like the deal of the David, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Why? Uh, Why does it make sense? Because he's going to say only that food do we are we being uh, about a child. Wow. And here it's definitely a mass of where he is a chayil shem versus a kana. Not that because he's a kana. Not a chayil shem versus a kana. He's he's he, he just he's just uh, a little bit. Ah, so okay. that's the question. So the, so what's the exes hashulchan? Rambam Chayna. He yeah. says yeah. his yard test today. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh wow! He was a rav of the Bukharim in uh, Yerushalayim. Rabbi Avram Chaim No. He was uh, a chassid of the Tzfidik Rebbe, Rabbi Shah Tzfidik Rebbe, and he has uh, basic. I think we mentioned it before that uh, he's known for a shiurim. You know that uh, the shiurim is a chazanish shiurim, and the Rabbi Avram Chaim No shiurim. So he says that over here we're talking about that he's able to go. Only what? It's a little difficult for him. That's so. But if he's really absurd, he's really constipated, and he, and he needs he needs this to, to up to the shore, you could you could you could do this therapy and you could even give him medicine, whatever it is, to help him cut it out. I never heard of a kid that was constipated. Usually it's oh, the it happens. Oh, sure it happens. Even little but, they but they don't care when they constipated. Only adults can. They cry and they, they, it's, very, it's very painful for them. Really? Yeah. yeah, sure. So now there's, an, there's an, another thing you look at. Back in the Sivcha Vez, in Shunchav Ches, we, we, at the end of that halacha, which he started saying, it says, You're allowed to give muksa, to feed him muksa, something which is muksa, you're allowed to give him to eat if if you, if you can't do it through a guy, you're allowed to give him muksa. Oh, wait, that's different than cooking. You're trying to try to cook, but muksa is not like, you know what I mean? It's not going to the halacha, right? Muksa is made rabbanon. Muksa is only made rabbanon. Yeah. I mean, it's muksa. I mean, it's, it has some strength in the seal. Muksa is only made rabbanon. Now, yeah, muksa is only made rabbanon. Food. Food. Food, which would be muksa. Let's say it was something you food you decided you're not eating on Shabbos and you put it away, you put it in the freezer, something you you you, you decided that you're not you're not eating it. So you can designate muksa. Muxa, yeah? Muxa, muxa is, uh, so it's Some people, there's different examples. So muxa is something you're not allowed to have. Let's say, let's say, uh... Concept of Hachan, uh, yeah. different ideas within muxa. It's a good question, we have, it's a good question. So muxa is, is a, is a Dirabon. And you really not allowed to do it's uh, a rabbanon for even for chelus shem esakano. He allowed you to tell a guy. 
we'll see, he allowed also to do a Dirabanan with a Shine. To do a regular Dirabanan, now that I do. Okay, so we're going to get to it soon, why over here we're Mako. But let's get to the point we want to say over here. The point we want to see, we see that you're allowed to give muksa to a child, right? In, in Simen Shintas, Simen Shintas is in Yochus Muksa, says a story like this. If you have, there's a kid, which is holding a rock. A rock is muksa. And the child wants, he has gagoyim, he wants you to pick, pick him, pick him up. He wants you to pick him up. So, and if he's not going to pick him up, he's going to come sick. So he so much wants that he should pick him up. You can't throw out, out the stone from his hand because if you do that, he's going to start screaming and crying. When you pick him up, you're picking him up in, uh, and uh, you're, 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 you're doing what you're being, it's called metal tiltul shalebi yadai. You're doing muksa, so you're moving the muksa, the stone, but it's not in your own hands. You're holding something else, you're holding a child, and the yeah. child is holding the stone. So it's called tilta shalai biyadai. So you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to pick him up. Because since it's shalai biyadai, you're not, you're not doing it actually, you're not holding the muksa actually in your hands. So you're allowed to pick him up. Because not going to tolerate it, he's going to come sick if not, if you're not going to pick him up. That's one case. Now what about another case? The second case is, a child is not holding a stone, he's holding a, a coin, a dinner, a bear, dinner. Now, it's even if he wants you to even just hold his hands, to walk with him and hold his hands, on the other hand, he's holding the dinner. You're not allowed to. Why are you not allowed to? Because what's going to happen if, it does, if it's going to fall? If, it, if the coin's going to fall on the floor? Since it's a coin, it has it's something important, you're going to go and pick it up. You're going to pick up that coin. If you pick up that coin, you're being metatli bedaim. You're actually, with your hands, you're moving the muksa. Why it's a muksa? Why is a coin muksa? Because while it's a coin, if you have it in your hand and you see a store open, you might forget the Shabbat, you go buy. That's why now I like to have wallet and money. I think that's the only reason. Mm. Whatever the reason for muxism. No, no, it's a logic reason. Whatever the reason is, but it's muxism. So that's just actually a thought too, right? That's why you don't look at your bills and stuff. Right, this is a few walking on the street and having a gear wanting to stay open. If you have your wallet, you start forgetting your wallet and you go by. That's why you don't want I don't want to get sidetracked into Muxa. I mean, I don't know. But, I but don't know. the point is that, that if you're going to go pick up the coin, which is Muxa, yeah. if you're going to hold his hand, if he's holding yeah. his other hand the, the coin, yeah. and pulls down, you're going to pick it up. Okay. By the same hand, it's a rock. And when you yeah. pick it up, when you pick it up, that's us. Yeah, it's it's us. Yeah. Okay. Even if the child is going to get sick, if you're not going to hold his hand. But can I just say Why can't, minutes? what, yeah. Before we even get to that, yeah. a few minutes ago you said yeah. that a chayla, she'en by sakana, you can't give him muksa. Uh, you tell a guy to give him muksa, but you can't give him muksa. It's like you were saying, the rabbana makes a certain shino, but, the, but the, just to go and give him muksa, you can't. Did you say? But by a cotton, it says here in the Shulchan Acharav that if there's no food around that he, you know, whatever, that he can eat, so besides that the guy, you know, will act and said to make a tafshal, you, yourself, the Jewish person, his father, could give him muksa because he has a den. Of Chayla, same as the Kana, but you see, it's a bigger cooler 
than Chal Hashem and Sakhani, because I think you said that Chal Hashem and Sakhani you can't give them Muksa Yisrael. So we said that Muksa, we said you could give you could give the child. Muksa, we said you're allowed to feed the child. Muksa, we said is different. And I said, we'll discuss why it's different. We said in Shin Chav Ches Tazvav, that you're allowed to give a child to eat Muksa. If you cannot, you yourself are allowed to give it. If you don't have a guy to give it, you yourself could give it to him to eat. If you have no choice. Right, right, okay. As opposed to cooking. Over cooking. here we're saying okay. that if you cannot pick up that dinner, you cannot pick up the child or hold the child's hand because you might come to hold Muksa. Right, okay. Which so, means we so, say so you so cannot it's like hold, it's a contradiction. Unless we say like the teal of the dog, that the cool oh. is only by food. Very good. Well, that, that's I think that's, that makes sure everyone understands it. So we're we're saying in Shem Chavchetz we say you're allowed to take muksa if you if, and give it to the child if you have no guy over there. You're allowed to give it to the child and feed it to him. Over here we're saying that you cannot hold his hand, which if his, in his other hand he has a dinner because you might come and and carry muksa even if. By not holding his hand, he's going to get sick. A dinner means a coin. A coin, which right. means, in other words, dinner. you cannot move muksa for a child even if he's going to get sick. And that seems to contradict what we said in Shilkov Ches that you're allowed to give, to give food, which is muksa, to a child. Here we say you can't, if he even is going to get sick, you can't, you can't uh, hold a dinner. Yeah. And over there we say you could give him food, which is muksa. That's a strong raya. So, it's even stronger because here he's going to get sick, and here he's not sick. Uh, we're saying he has a dinner, yeah. you know, it's like, it's like even more leverage. Right. So, the table of David wants to say from here that we see that only yeah. things are food. Only things of food are you allowed to, are you are we lenient about a child? That's why you're allowed to give muksa to a child. How's he gonna get sick if you don't hold his hand? Because he's yearning so much to. Uh, and it's a different level of sickness. Food is a real physical sickness, and you know this is like an emotional. Kind of thing. Yeah. Well, over there is even if he doesn't have what to eat. Ah uh, yeah yeah here, but they're both sickness. But one is you know one is. You right. It doesn't hurt you permanently. Right. Where there's lack of food, it hurts you. I hear. I hear. So, so the Rav Ram Chayyana, Rav Ram Chayyana wants to say that that he wants to give say that that by giving food to a child, you could give which is muksa is fine, because since we allowed you even to cook for for a guy to cook for you, so we allowed you also muksa. But any muksa is generally also gives an answer. Basically, maybe we'll continue maybe tomorrow. Wait, I'm sorry, I just missed that from that by from the graph. It says that that uh Ram Khayana says that yeah. muksa, muksa feeding if um uh, if we we allow to feed him muksa because just like we allowed you to cook for the for the guy to cook for him yeah, we, yeah. so it shows that when yeah. it, when it comes to feeding him yeah. you're allowed to yeah, yeah. you're allowed yeah. to take care of muksa also. But generally muksa is also when it comes to muksa, this you make this differentiation, but for everything else, it's still. Oh, uh, oh, oh! Another, um, in other words, even if he, um, even if it's not a food need, since he has a den of all his truck, and he has a den of kailu shem besakon. Yeah, that's yeah. a flower accepting. Yeah. So he, um, he, he, they went. So, so they went to. It's only by muksa, but maybe it says right. somewhere. I think that muksa is like more chomer. Okay, okay. Right. The yeah. rice. It is like I, I don't never have... understood what that means yeah. so much, but I remember learning yeah. it. Okay. So in other words, he mad, he argues again. He has a way out. The both, both, yeah, they both. Uh, wow.